Tonight, the flu is more widespread all across the country. This map from the CDC shows the states reporting widespread cases of the illness right now. The ones in red are seeing severe cases of the flu. And in Georgia, the Department of Health reports 300 people have been hospitalized with the flu. And so far, there have been uh, four uh, reported deaths in that state. Tonight, we found out a drug that can help prevent and treat the flu is in short supply. Catherine Marchand joins us now with what this means for protecting yourself. Catherine. Kim, Josh, doctors say if you take Tamiflu within 48 hours of noticing flu symptoms, it will cut down the amount of time that you're sick. But tonight, that drug is getting harder to come by. Yeah. Patients are flooding Chattanooga doctor's offices. There is a flu problem and they need to make sure they take precautions as much as possible. Dr. Jonathan Curley has seen many more people with symptoms like these. Headache, sore throat. Than he saw last year. The number one medication he prescribes for the flu <coughs> is Tamiflu. So we use it in those scenarios, not only just treatment, but also to help uh, prevention. But pharmacist Jeff Perry says this year, demand for brand name and generic versions of the antiviral medication has outweighed the supply. It is the early stages of a shortage. Perry told me the distribution centers that local pharmacies use to stock up are out of Tamiflu. We have plenty. Most of the other pharmacies have ordered plenty, but it's going to get to a point at some point soon where they're going to run out or we're going to run out. My concern is, is mainly driven that the increased demand means that there will be more, uh, a, a lot more cases of the flu, which means a lot more exposure. Dr. Curley says while resources may be stretched thin, there are things you can do to stay healthy, whether you have Tamiflu or not. Washing your hands is absolutely imperative. And then common areas, things that are touched a lot, such as a shopping cart or, or door handles that are used a lot, this time of year, absolutely wash your hands, try to wipe those things down. Tonight, Dr. Curley says doctor's offices are now using a new flu test that's much more sensitive. Old tests were phased out under a federal mandate. Kim? Catherine, thank you. And local hospitals say they're taking steps to keep the virus from spreading. Park Ridge Hospital started asking people not to bring child visitors to their hospitals. They will also provide masks for visitors to wear. Erlanger says they will provide masks as well as hand sanitizer.